how did you get such a diverse group of people to take part in an election? Once again, it's just this incredible administrative system. And the diversity, I must tell you about the diversity. The, the people who were there were, as you said, from so many different countries. 175 National Spiritual Assemblies were represented. And on the day of the election, most of them, who had traditional dress, wore it. And, I mean, this is not a requirement, this is a choice. But the colour was just absolutely incredible. And seeing all these amazing different national costumes, there's, there's no anybody saying vote for me in Baha'i. It just doesn't work that way. The Baha'is who were there have all been elected to serve on their national assemblies. And then they are all invited to go to the Holy Land, if possible, to take part in this election. Those that couldn't go sent in an absentee ballot and the absentee ballots were put into the box at the correct time. Alaska. There was this amazing screen during the election. It had a map of the world and the part of the world that the next country to vote from was on it. And it had the name of the country that was voting along the top and along the bottom was the next country to vote. And they organized it so that everybody who was about to vote were lined up and we were lined down, down the front in alphabetical order. And they would call out the name of each country and maybe say Cyprus, for example, was there and the name of each person. And they would walk across the stage and put their ballot in the box and walk off the other side. And if a person wasn't able to be there, their absentee vote was put in the box in, its, in their place. I think there were 1,500, 1500 ballots were cast. And the time that it took was just amazing. Just like clockwork, absolute, and just so colorful and absolutely so moving, incredibly moving. Was there a high participation rate in the election? I think there were 1,575 people were eligible to vote and 30 of them didn't. What provision was made for the votes to be counted? We're, we're voting for nine people. So we write down the name of the nine people who we want to vote for, put it inside an envelope and it's sealed. The envelope goes inside that box and then we all watch everybody put the envelope in the box. Nothing else goes in the box. To start with, they even tip the box upside down to show us that it was empty. Then after all the envelopes had been put in, they sealed the top of it so nothing else could be put in. And then they took it away with the tellers and the tellers stayed with it. And we all went off and did something really nice after that. We actually went to another Holy Day celebration and the tellers counted the votes. And they counted and counted and counted until way into the night so that they, they got a result. And the next day the result was announced. The head teller came to the podium, announced how many possible votes there were, how many were cast, and then read out the names of the nine people who had been elected. And as she read out the names, each one of them came onto the stage. The applause for these people was just thunderous. It was absolutely thunderous. And it just went on and on and on. And everybody was stood up. And I thought, you know, usually when there's clapping, it starts to fade. And it didn't. It was just kept on at full pace, you know, this incredibly thunderous clapping. And I thought, you know, we were obviously so thrilled with the results um, that nobody was going to stop clapping. And then the person whose name had been read out first, he was standing closest to the, the podium. And he went to the podium and just with a slight movement of his hand, hardly anything else, and everybody stopped clapping and sat down. It was just amazing. Your warm applause touches our hearts. We are overwhelmed. A feeling of inadequacy because of our personal shortcomings, our personal deficiencies, as we face the challenges ahead. Yet, <clears throat> We are confident that if we arise 
And if we place our trust in the Lord, an all-seeing, a prayer hearing, a prayer answering Lord, he will certainly come to our aid as he has come in the past. And he will use us, unworthy instruments as we are. And it was the most humble speech. It's not the kind of victory speech that you would hear in any other election. It was so humble, it was so beautiful and very, very moving. Brings tears to my eyes when I think about it. Um, but these, these nine people now will be the members of the Universal House of Justice in charge of the international affairs of the Baha'i community for the next five years. Mm -hmm.